call the HOA because my yard is devaluing your house. All right, I'll have it clean by the inspection date. This is a story of my mother's. She has always been incredibly hard-headed, but this sticks out a lot from my teenage years. Once a year she always had us pull everything out of the garage, lots of boxes my mom has a concerning number of possessions, so we could go through it and clean slash reorganize. This particular year the couple who owned the house across from us, flippers, were in the process of selling their house, unhappy with my mother's unsightly driveway covered in boxes soiling their good image. They made a call to the HOA. By the time my mother received the letter, the mess had been put away, but they decided to get her on a few other complaints such as the bikes against the side of the house and the patchy gravel. She had two weeks to have everything up to standards. Petty and easily frustrated, my mother knew immediately who called since the couple had come over and told her flat out with their renovations. They were selling that house for way more any other house in this neighborhood and would appreciate if she respected that by keeping her property on PAR. For the next two weeks every box from that garage was in our driveway. The couch and the living room TV came next. This was early summer, so it was perfect weather to sit in your yard in your short shorts and sports bra. My mom made sure to wave and smile every time they brought someone over for a showing. The final step came at the end of that two weeks though. After the yard had been cleaned up and cleared by the HOA, my mom went to the local Walmart and bought a for sale sign. She wrote about one-fourth of their ridiculous asking price on it and finished off with a big sold written across the front and stuck it out in our yard. No clue what they ended up selling their house for, but it sat empty for a while so I'd assume it was below offer. TLDR don't tell my mom she's devaluing your house, or she will go far out her way to do so, all while complying with the HOA. Now to the comments. This was removed by Automod for a while. I have no clue why. It's missing from the mod logs and the action reason was not displayed. Very strange. LMAO that final step was a masterpiece. All that stuff before is a headache and time consuming, but that undervalue sign is genius. Totally agree. Love it, and having recently purchased a home, that would definitely take me away from purchasing a more expensive one across the street. Thanks for the insight, as someone who hasn't just bought a home, I have no concept of value. Walmart and bought a for sale sign. She wrote about one fourth of their ridiculous asking price on it and finished off with a big sold written across the front and stuck it out in our yard. Oh, oh that is so wonderfully evil I want to send your mom a card on Mother's Day. Sign it from me too. Me too, thanks. The sales sign took me right over the edge. That sign elevates this to pro revenge. My dad had a habit of starting big projects, putting in a pool, installing a geothermal well, adding chimneys and fireplaces, etc., and taking forever to finish them. We didn't have a HOA and most people didn't mind the mess, but one couple we shared a property line with were always complaining to the city whenever they could. When my dad built the frame of the deck for our above-ground pool, he waited to finish the platform and the fencing until he could get nice planks and make it look good. But this couple complained to the city, and my dad couldn't find a loophole in the building codes that would give him more time. So instead of hiring someone to do it or taking some extra days off work to do it himself, he threw on some unfinished plywood flooring and made a fence out of chicken wire. The neighbors were not happy about the eyesore, but it was up to code, and my dad never got around to fixing it up. Weird. Any city I've lived in with ordinances didn't allow fences except for from approved material. I mean .it depends on how vague the codes are. Chicken wire is wire. Wood is something to wrap wire around. Together they make a sequestered area. Boom. Fence. The whole concept of HOA is confusing and irritating to me. 
Every HOA I've ever had the displeasure of step foot within has felt like some unsettling step forward project, it's all about conforming to what a handful of people consider the norm, literally couldn't have a window AC in Phoenix AZ because it was unsightly meanwhile I'm in my bedroom with three fans on me, misting myself with water I kept in a mini fridge and literally no will to live because my room was on the southeast corner of the house, couldn't make our own landscaping choices, there were three available color options to paint and because our house was on the corner of the road, we couldn't have objects in our backyard taller than the fence so say goodbye to pool umbrellas or ever being in your yard nine months out of the year. WTF What's the appeal of a HOA then if you're not allowed to do anything? Why would anyone want to live there? The short shorts and sports bra is my favorite part of this anecdote. OPS mom has got it going on. OP, can I come over after school? HOAs just need to die. If a neighbor is trying to sell their house and ask me politely if I could mow my grass a little more often for them, sure, I'll help out, not a big deal. Lucky me there are plenty of HOAs branched off my street, but my street is part of none of them. Freedom is pretty awesome. Smile. Deleted. I looked and couldn't find anything in the study or discussion about controlling for type of area. Non HOA houses are disproportionately located in established neighborhoods. They tend to be older core communities with good central locations. They predate HOAs. Unless it was controlled for, I suspect that the types of established locations that tend to lack HOAs appreciated faster vs new more suburban locations rather than the HOA making much difference one way or the other. I think I would like your mom. That is some next level revenge. What even is the point of an HOA? Ah uh, yes. Let me sign away my rights to check notes decorate my house the way I want, and I get to pay for it. Please take my money. Your mother is an evil genius, smiley face. I hope it rubbed off on you. That last bit with the sold sign is elegant. Pure spite, and well earned. Kudos. She wrote about one-fourth of their ridiculous asking price on it and finished off with a big sold written across the front and stuck it out in our yard. This. This is a wonderful idea. So beautifully quiet, polite, yet foo. Happy Cake Day Amish Bill. Use what talents you possess, the woods would be very silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best. HOA Compliance Level, Expert R slash Duck HOA would like this. The HOA allowed the sign? They must still be kicking themselves. They can't ban for sale or sold signs, otherwise nobody in the HOA area would be able to sell their property. Once you are in the HOA, you are never allowed to leave. And it's gone. Please mods, if you remove a high upvoted slash commented post give some reasoning, so we can understand. Got removed as I was reading it lmao. Having neighbors that clean their garage would increase the property value. The neighbors sounded like pricks who deserved every single bit of the can of hoop ass your mom handed them. The icing on that cake was the sold sign in her own yard that was a beautiful move. Why would your mom be actively against a neighboring property selling for a lot? She shot herself in the foot, property values go up when houses sell for a lot. I hate when a post that looks super interesting and has thousands of upvotes gets deleted before I can read. 
That's awesome. Duck HOAs. NGL I've never seen a for sale sign with the selling price on it. Ever. Yet. You can look up comparables. It's one of the first parts of actual buying. I'll give it some benefit of the doubt and this is before Zillow but still. Honestly, a true hero.